In this day and age, everyone understands that computers are a part of life. We upgrade software, hardware drives, increase memory capacity, and we don't even think twice. It's an accepted fact of life. When was the last time you upgraded the most important computer you will ever own? Your brain. Your brain controls everything in your body, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The brain collects and stores every experience we have from the moment of birth until death. It is the compilation of these experiences that shapes us into the individual that we are today. Now, if we have an experience that alters the normal brain waves, we may begin to experience a variety of things. Brain fog, pain, insomnia, fear, anger or anxiety is just a few of the symptoms that may be noticed. Your brain may need an update on its software. Your brain produces four distinct brainwave frequencies, and we have a mixture of these frequencies being produced at any given time, depending upon your state of consciousness. High frequency beta brainwaves, 15 hertz and higher, are produced when you're awake. When you close your eyes and relax, alpha waves should be produced, 8 to 12 hertz. Normally, theta is produced briefly when you start to fall asleep, and delta waves occur when you are sleeping. Now, the brain could be injured in a variety of ways. The most obvious is from direct head trauma, whiplash from accidents, sports, especially football and soccer, sexual abuse, drug abuse, physical abuse, poor nutrition, stress. These are just a few things which may cause an alteration in a specific area of the brain to produce an abnormal brain wave pattern. This abnormal area will have profound effects. The brain is constantly communicating to not only surrounding areas, but areas of the brain on the opposite side. Too much or too little activity will have a domino effect upon the whole entire brain. Neurointegration therapy is a form of biofeedback that allows the brain to retrain itself to work in healthier brainwave frequencies. It addresses the dysregulation in the brain, which may be the cause of depression, ADD, ADHD, chronic fatigue. You get the picture, right? This non-invasive therapy teaches the brain how to self-regulate, which is a critical part of proper brain function. The neurointegrator works as a mind mirror, showing you how your brain is functioning. Photic stimulation via the use of flashing lights helps to guide your brain waves into working in a correct pattern. In addition to this, auditory and visual stimulation is also used. When the brain works at a correct frequency, a reward is given via playing music or a movie. When the brain gets off track, the reward is stopped meaning the movie will fade in, the audio fades in. Then it fades out when your brain gets back on track by using photic stimulation at the desired frequency. When the brain starts to work correctly, another reward is given and the music and or movie plays again. In this manner, the brain learns what it needs to do to keep the music and the movie playing. Brain is a learning machine. It will figure out a way to keep the music and the audio playing. A typical session is approximately 30 minutes start to finish. Two to four sensors are placed on specific points on your head that will read the frequency of brain waves at that particular point. No electricity is going in. It only reads what your brain is producing. To allow your brain optimal retraining, a minimum of two sessions per week is recommended. It is safe to do up to three sessions per day. Now, patients often notice feeling more relaxed, more focused after their sessions. So if you see that your brain can update its hardware and software, and you don't feel optimally balanced, vibrant energy, you're losing your vitality, you're zipping your doodah, this is something that's gonna be a game changer for you and your children. Help them have a vibrant life because that's what we all want to do is have a life we love. I really look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, I'm Bob Chesney and I just wanted to share my story with you. I'm a professional uh, actor on television. I also interview a number of people with my production company. And I was experiencing something that really was troubling. 
I sort of named it CRS, can't remember stuff. My long-term memory was terrific, but my short-term was really embarrassing. I mean, literally I would be with clients and could not remember their name. I didn't know what to do. I met Dr. Michael Parsons, and the first thing she did is she put me through a brain map. Now, this was a little scary for me because she was attaching things to my head. It didn't hurt, there was no electricity, but I kind of felt like it was a out of space situation. But she detected some things in that brain map that were invaluable to me. One of them is I had no anticipation of, and that was my horrid temper. Uh, she spotted something on that brain map and she said, how long has this been going on? And I kind of said, forever. Well, to make a long story short, we set upon a therapy regimen and I was visiting her three times a week and within a space of three weeks, my short-term memory came back as good as it ever was. Now, I visit her annually and sometimes twice a year just for a little touch-up because I can already tell when that short term starts to slip a little bit. So if you've ever experienced what I call CRS, and you just can't remember stuff, this might be a great way for you to go. She has thousands of examples of people she's helped, but I'm the one that uh, I'm very proud of what she's done for me. She can do the same thing for you.